First Shemuel chapter 23 And they told Dawid, saying, Behold, the Polish team are fighting against Qe'ilah and are robbing the threshing floors. Therefore Dawid inquired of Yahweh, saying, Shall I go and smite these Polish team? And Yahweh said to Dawid, Go and smite these Polish team and save Qe'ilah. And Dawid's men said to him, Behold, we are afraid here in Yehudah. How much more then if we go to Qailah against the armies of the Polish team? Then Dawid inquired of Yahweh yet again. And Yahweh answered him and said, Arise, go down to Qailah, for I will deliver the Polish team into thy hand. And Dawid and his men went to Qailah and fought with the Polish team and brought away their cattle, and slew them with a great slaughter. So Dawid saved the inhabitants of Qe'ilah, and it was when Abiyatar the son of Ahimelech fled to Dawid to Qe'ilah, that he came down with an air forth in his hand. And it was told Shaul that Dawid was come to Qe'ilah, and Shaul said, God hath delivered him into my hand. For he is shut in by entering into a town that hath gates and bars. And Shaul summoned all the people to war to go down to Qailah to besiege Dawid and his men. And Dawid knew that Shaul was devising mischief against him. And he said to Abiyatar the priest, Bring hither the ephod. Then said Dawid, O Yahweh, the God of Yisrael, Thy servant hath surely heard that Shaul seeketh to come to Qailah to destroy the city for my sake. Will the men of Qailah deliver me up into his hand? Will Shaul come down as thy servant hath heard? O Yahweh, the God of Israel, I beseech thee, tell thy servant. And Yahweh said, He will come down. Then said Dawid, Will the men of Qailah deliver up me and my men into the hand of Shaul? And Shaul said, They will deliver thee up. Then Dawid and his men, who were about six hundred, arose and departed out of Qailah, and went whithersoever they could go. And it was told Shaul that Dawid was escaped from Qailah, and he forbear to go forth. And Dawid abode in the wilderness in the strongholds, and remained in the hill country in the wilderness of Ziph. And Shaul sought him every day, but God delivered him not into his hand. And Dawid saw that Shaul was come out to seek his soul, and Dawid was in the wilderness of Ziph in the wood. And Jehonathan, Shaul's son, arose and went to Dawid into the wood, and strengthened his hand in God. And he said to him, Fear not, for the hand of Shaul my father shall not find thee, and thou shalt be king over Israel, and I shall be next to thee, and that also Shaul my father knoweth. And they too made a covenant before Yahweh, and Dawid abode in the wood, and Yonathan went to his house. Then came up the Zephim to Shaul to give ah, saying, Doth not Dawid hide himself with us in the strongholds in the wood, in the hill of Hakilah, which is on the south of the desert? Now therefore, O king, come down, according to all the desire of thy soul to come down, and our part shall be to deliver him up into the king's hand. And Shaul said, Blessed be ye of Yahweh, for ye have had compassion on me. Go, I pray you, make yet more sure, and know and see his place, where his haunt is, and who hath seen him there. For it is told me that he dealeth very subtly. See therefore, and take knowledge of all the lurking places where he hideth himself, and come ye again to me of a certainty, 
and I will go with you, and it shall be, if he be in the land, that I will search him out among all the thousands of Yehudah. And they arose, and went to Ziph before Shaul, but Dawid and his men were in the wilderness of Ma'on, in the Arabah, on the south of the desert. And Shaul and his men went to seek him, and they told Dawid, for what reason he came down to the rock, and abode in the wilderness of Ma'on. And when Shaul heard that, he pursued after Dawid in the wilderness of Ma'on. And Shaul went on this side of the mountain, and Dawid and his men on that side of the mountain. And Dawid made haste to get away for fear of Shaul, for Shaul and his men compassed Dawid and his men round about to take them. But there came a messenger to Shaul, saying, Haste thee, and come, for the Polish team have made a raid upon the land. So Shaul returned from pursuing after Dawid, and went against the Polish team. Therefore they called that place Selah Mahlakot. And Dawid went up from thence, and dwelt in the strongholds of Ein Gedi.